Researchers in Venice, equipped with powerful data analysis software, have launched a mining project, much like archaeologists, of the largest paper archives in the world. Their approach is probably an example of how future historians will work, given the immense quantity of information that we are currently generating. The field of investigation is the archives of the state of Venice. Millions of documents spanning 10 centuries of the city's history are stored in 80 kilometers of shelves. It includes birth and death certificates, business registers and notarized deeds, along with other documents, both valuable and mundane. With these priceless archives, it will be possible to reconstruct, nearly day by day, the life of the city and its residents, to form a kind of Google ahead of its time. How to query such a large quantity of information? The Venice Time Machine project, begun by the city of Venice and the École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, the EPFL, is trying to answer this question. The Venice Time Machine project aims to create new tools for navigating through the thousand years of Venetian and European history, based on a major digitization of the Venice archives. The idea is essentially to transform the dozens of kilometers of documents that we have into an open information system that will be accessible via new navigation interfaces. By disassociating the document from its medium, digitization dispenses with the need to handle paper, which is heavy and bulky. In a sense, the information is suspended in a digital space. Then it can be accessed an infinite number of ways. A word or a proper noun can be found nearly instantaneously within the thousands of scattered documents. What digital indexing of documents allows is to make interconnections that would have been impossible to do before. You are able to find all the documents that deal with a particular person, even from different series of documents, wills, apprenticeship contracts, various official acts. You are able to do the same thing for places. In other words, find all the documents referring to a particular place among the mass of documents. You can restrict this search to a specific place and time, therefore offering new ways of accessing information that would be totally impossible to do if you were working with a traditional catalog and regular paper records. Did the Venetian administrators from the year 1000 even imagine that one day they would face physical limits? While paper records are efficient, it is a laborious process. Ten centuries later, we now have algorithms and software that can create connections between diverse data in order to make sense of it. And thus, another history of the Venetian Republic, one that is more subtle, more nuanced, more accurate, emerges from the enormous mass of disparate papers. Each of the documents we have transcribed is then analyzed to search for the names of people and places. Here we have a person named Battista Nani, who is linked to several other people who have been identified by the recognition algorithm. And little by little, it forms an initial graph which is linked to this particular document. The same process is repeated for others, such as tax declarations, for example. Here, Battista Nani is connected to other people. When we have extracted all the data, we can then gather all the information available on a particular person. In this way, we can create this large graph that forms something like a Facebook of the past. It will only continue to grow as we digitize and analyze the archives. Now, Venetians from the past are no longer immersed in an anonymous crowd, but become individual interacting destinies that have fashioned history.